How's it going guys? Cheese here at Cheese on Everything. Hope everyone's doing well in this quarantine. Since we're all stuck at home, I figured I'd do some renovations to the home Wi-Fi network. This is the ASUS RT-AX88U. It's the Wi-Fi 6 router from ASUS. It has a 1.8 GHz quad-core CPU, OFDMA, and ASUS's AI mesh system. It's a dual-band router which is 2.3 times faster than the last generation of wireless routers. Now I know this router has been out for a few months now, but Wi-Fi 6 has finally gone more mainstream with the uh, Samsung Note 10s and laptops now having Wi-Fi 6. So the reason why I chose this router over the Google Mesh Wi-Fi or TP-Link or any other brand is the fact that this router actually has 8 Ethernet ports in the back. I'm considering switching over my house to a smart home system in the new future so I do need those extra ports for the light system and all the other smart home accessories. Another reason why I'm switching this router is because I am doing a lot of transferring of files between my laptop and my desktop and the server. With those transfer speeds over Wi-Fi it is getting really slow with the current NT56U which is a router I've had for about five years now. So let's open this box up and see what's inside. First and foremost, some instructions, the router itself, the four black and gold antennas, network cable, and some power cables. Now this obviously isn't as crazy as the AX11000, which is the gaming router, but it also doesn't cost $500. This router comes in at $329 Canadian, which is a lot more affordable. And for the most part, it actually still looks pretty sleek and modern looking. We got two buttons in the front. One says LED and one says Wi-Fi. In the back here, we got the power switch, the AC adapter, the reset switch, the WPS button, which you can connect any device without actually putting in a password. And then you got the eight ethernet ports, the WAN port where you connect to your modem, and the USB port, which you can use to update the firmware on this device. So I'm currently in the basement in my studio. So let's go upstairs to where my router is actually located and plug all these things in. Now I live in an average size house about 2000 square feet. It's really important that if you're only using one router to broadcast the signal of the Wi-Fi that you try to put this in the most central area of the house. So all corners of the home gets a proper Wi-Fi signal. And as you can see here, my router is already maxed out with cables from voice over IP, my two computers, and the TV. So I have it all plugged in now, and the beauty of this is it's all plug and play. So the internet is already working, and everything's already connected. All right, got my laptop here in the studio. Now obviously, just having that Wi-Fi 6 router isn't going to give you Wi-Fi 6 connection speeds. You're going to have to upgrade all your devices that aren't already Wi-Fi 6 uh, with Wi-Fi 6 adapters. These adapters aren't that expensive. This one, for example, is 30 bucks off Amazon. I'll leave the link below. I have had to do some tweaks to the router settings in order for it to work properly. So we just got into the router page. Uh, the new address is router.asus.com. You should be prompted to set up a password and all that. First things first, obviously change the firmware to the latest one. You can do this pretty easily by just clicking on the firmware version. It will bring you to the page where it gives you instructions to download the latest firmware or to check to see if it's up to date. So after you get that done, you go to wireless. And the first thing you want to change is the smart connect. By default, this feature is turned on. Uh, basically what this does is the router will determine whether or not the device is 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. By turning this setting off, you're basically telling the router to separate the two Wi-Fi bands. So right now I have here Cheese 1 and Cheese 2. So Cheese 1 is the 2.4 and the Cheese 2 is 5 gigahertz. Next on the list, we have the control channel. By default, this setting is set to auto. And we also want to change this to a specific number. In order to know which number to set it to, there is a program called Wi-Fi Info View. I'll put the link in the description below for you to download it. You have to install this app onto a device that is connected to your router via Wi-Fi. And what it does is it scans all the channels in your area for the cleanest and the best channel. So here you can tell somebody's using channel 149, another is using 44, and another router is using 11. What I've done here is pick two channels that nobody's using. So I just randomly pick two and 100. And you can see here, uh, my router is the AX88U, my two SSIDs here. And you can also see which megahertz the Wi-Fi is using. 
So once you pick a channel that's vacant, come back to the router page and you can select any channel here that is available. And you need to do this with the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz bands. So in the 5 gigahertz band, there are a couple more settings. Uh, you have to enable the 160 megahertz setting here and you'll see all four channel bandwidths pop up. So once you have all those settings dialed in, the router should work properly. Sorry that was a little bit tedious, but that's what you gotta do. As I said, I am in the studio and this is the furthest room away from my router. So let's just transfer a really big file and see how long that takes. So I just selected a random video file it's about 1.78 gigabytes. So far, it's doing pretty well. It's going at almost 100 megs per second, and it only took about less than 15 seconds. So yeah, that the network speed's definitely way faster. I used to only get about 40 megs per second. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you liked the video, hit like and subscribe for more tips, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.